Hi, it's Rob Moore here. Had to get way more done with less or no nonsense. Take two. Okay, so I have 10 things that I think will really help you. I'm going to get them done in less than 10 minutes, one minute per strategy to get way more done with less wastage, less distraction, less nonsense from the world and less nonsense from your own mind, your own chimp or child in your head. Uh, and this is also to celebrate the brand new launch of my new audio book, Start Now, Get Perfect Later, which is live, but don't go and get it yet. Let me cover the 10 things first. For all of you that are going to try me on the live video, yes, I got three of the 10 in. Yes, I messed it up. Yes, I started again. Yes, the phone wouldn't work, but hey, uh, that's what you love about live. So uh, the first thing is, there is one task in your list of 10 or 20 things which has 80 or 90% of the value of all the rest. No two tasks or units of time have the, the equal value in terms of time leverage or money or benefit to you. So instead of just listing tasks, find the one that could negate the need to do most of the others or earn five, 10 times more money or be a better leverage of time. For example, it usually takes me three months to write a book, but I do all of the writing in about a seven day period. So if I just wrote the book in those seven days, I would save the other two months and three weeks of procrastination, getting my head around it, doing research, going on social media and dancing around the issue of the thing, which is just to write the bloody book. OK, second point then is avoid all distractions and time drains. Uh, so anything like debates, arguments, low value tasks, things for other people that they feel like they need you to do that's their emergency, but isn't a high income producing task for you. Avoid them. Um, things that take ages, but you're not good at. Things that take ages, but don't actually progress you very far. Just avoid them. Uh, and a way that you can do that is by isolating yourself. That means headphones on so no one can come up and approach and talk to you. It means hiding away in a coffee shop somewhere so no one can interrupt you, turning all your devices, your Wi-Fi and everything else off, not being distracted by kids, by staff, by uh, requests, etc. OK, the third thing then is hardcore accountability. Now, this is why I set up this bonus for Getting Start Now, Get Perfect Later, which is for the first 256 people that get the audio book. I'm going to have a private accountability group with me. You get my mobile number and me in a WhatsApp group with you as hardcore accountability. You know, I'm not necessarily the most elegant um, mentor, if you like, or I don't have the most finesse. I'm quite direct. But one thing I am good at doing is getting people to get stuff done and not taking excuses and being quite direct. And sometimes we need some hardcore accountability. Stop wasting time. Get it done. Here's the deadline. Meet it. Make it happen. Um, you know, maybe you need a mentor, a coach. You need a deadline. You need public accountability. You need a competition. You know, you need to go and tell everyone what you're going to do and by when to actually get yourself to do it. Now, usually you are, we are the easiest person to lie to. So giving accountability outside of yourself is often a wise thing to do. Now, sometimes it's hard. It feels uncomfortable to have deadlines, to give accountability, to publicise things publicly. Um, and that's exactly why you should do it. And if you don't, you won't get more done in less time. OK, the fourth thing then, if you're going to spend some time and do some tasks, you might as well make it an investment by making sure that the thing you put time into is an asset rather than just an exchange of time for money. So if you think about a, a usual employed job, you work your hour, you earn your hourly rate, you earn nothing after that, you've got to work your next hour, you do overtime, you might get a bit more money, but you've got to work that hour, and that hour is in time you could be doing the things that you love. And that's how the world mostly works. But what investors, entrepreneurs, and successful people know is that you can actually take that hour and invest it. So I'll give you an example. I'm doing a live feed video now. Uh, that will be recorded and that will stay on my page, my um, Facebook page, you know, forever probably. Uh, my outsourcer will take it as long as it's under 10 minutes and put it on LinkedIn. Excerpts for Instagram. It will go on my YouTube channel. I'm recording it on the Zoom H1. Uh, thankfully, I am recording it. I press the button and that will probably become a podcast. So this time will be an asset for many years to come. It's evergreen. So uh, that's what you want to do with your time where possible. Uh, that's why I write books. So, you know, like you've got to, I've probably got to sell three million books to make a million quid net net myself because I probably get about a third of a pound per book personally after all taxes, shares, publishers, business partner, etc. Um, so, you know, that's not a good use of time. It, you feel like when you're writing the book, you don't get any, you know, I get a small advance, 20, 30,000 pound per book per language. But for me, that's pretty small. Uh, it certainly doesn't pay the time. But once the book is done and it's out there forever and it's repurposed onto audio and, and translated into 15 or 20 languages, then it's an asset that pays passive income for many years to come. So I'll quite often do things that take quite a long time and take a lot of my own time and money up front for not a return up front to get a return into the future. 
Uh, and my newest one of those is called Start Now, Get Perfect Later, which you should get on Audible. Uh, the link is bit.ly forward slash S-N-G-P-L. Start Now, Get Perfect Later, S-N-G-P-L. Okay then, um, number five is do the big hairy scary thing first and early. Uh, Brian Tracy calls it eat that frog. Um, but the, the big hairy scary thing, you know, speaking to a difficult client or, um, you know, pro, con, uh, producer, blah, 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 um, you know, supplier, that's the word I'm trying to look for, blah, supplier. Um, or, you know, have a, a hard conversation with someone that you're in a relationship with or, um, you know, some kind of difficult meeting or, you know, meeting a JV investor where the, the deal isn't going quite so well. The big hairy scary thing, do it first before any other task and do it early. Uh, so it's not hanging over your head for the rest of the day. It doesn't ruin all your other tasks. And when you get it early and you feel liberated, it gives you momentum uh, and you crack on. Now, I think logically we all know that. But emotionally, are you doing it? Are you picking the biggest, hairy, scary thing and doing it first and early? If you do that every day, your day will get great momentum. Momentum creates compounding and comp compounding creates results. OK, point six then. If in doubt, leverage it out. So of the 10 tasks that you've got to do, do the one that negates all the rest that has 90 or 95% of the value first, and then at least another half of them leverage them to other people. Out, you know, I don't, I don't, for example, with this podcast, do any of the editing. This, this audio goes on to retransfer, it goes to my team and that's it. They edit it, they take out all the mistakes, um, they, they publish it to the syndicator, the host, then it goes to iTunes, Stitcher, Podbean, Alexa, all of, all of these. Um, the video will go onto LinkedIn, which my outsourcer will manage. It will go onto YouTube, which my um, YouTube guy will manage. So I just have to do the content. And as you can see, I don't always do that perfectly first time round. Um, so you should be leveraging first, managing the things leveraged second, and doing last. Whereas most of society, most of society, they're going through tasks thinking, got to do this. How do I do this? This is hard to do. I'm never going to be able to get this done. Leverage first, manage the leverage second, do last. Um, and that, if you negate, if you take the highest leverage task that you could do that negates most of the others, and, and then you leverage out the remaining of 10 tasks, you've probably only got two that you actually have to do yourself. Okay. Point seven then is outsource all low priority tasks, low income generating tasks, and admin. Yeah, you might feel good tidying your desk. It might, you might have therapeutic benefit of doing these low value things and ticking off things on your list. You might be a perfectionist who needs to get everything done in this OCD order. But the reality of getting more done in less time is to get all the things you don't love, all the low value tasks, all the low, um, all the, all the admin tasks, all the tasks that take you a long time but you're not very good at. Leverage and outsource them early, just like you do the big, scary, hairy task early. Before you start your tasks, leverage all admin and low value tasks and by sort of eight in the morning, you could have done the big hairy scary thing, the big task that negates many of the others and outsourced mo much of the rest. You could, you could finish for the day after nine o'clock and literally you could if you stick to this rule. Uh, and if you're a bit of a perfectionist or you get overwhelmed or you procrastinate or you, know, you have a lot of these fears or you, you just get distracted, my brand new book, Start Now, Get Perfect Later, is the book that was written just for you. There are a load of time management books out there. This is a very unique take on that. It's basically how to do what you know, because I think most of you listening and watching, you know what you've got to do. You don't, you don't need me to tell you 80% of the time. So why aren't you doing it? Uh, and if everyone did what they knew, we'd all be very hyper successful and hyper rich. Um, you're well educated, you're smart, you've done a lot of personal development, but there's some fears, there's some overwhelm, there's some doubts, there's some perceptions, perceptions, there's some perfectionism traits, there's something that's stopping you. And Start Now, Get Perfect Later will help you get, get shit done, basically, uh, and, and, and get over all that noise in your head and all the second guessing. So it's bit.ly forward slash S N G P L. Wow, I've got like 50 seconds to get the rest in. Okay, net time. Uh, and, and that is, how can you get two or three things done in one value of time? Get all of your sales calls batched together and do them in a two-hour car journey. Get all your podcasts and your audiobooks scheduled up and listen to it in the gym. Okay, nine then is compartmentalizing your time, your diary, your life. Eight to 8.30, do this. 8.30 to 9, do that. 9 to 10, have a break. 10 to 11, go to the gym. 11 to 1, do meetings. 1 to 3, off. 3 to 5, meetings or sales calls. 5 to 6, with your kids. Six to seven, I don't know, some kind of strategic planning for the next day. Seven to nine, Netflix with your husband, wife, partner, or on your own, nine, go to bed, get up at 5 a.m. So specific tasks at specific time in the day, in the diary, 
compartmentalize the stuff you do with your family, your kids, your social, your hobby as well. Otherwise, you know what it's like being an entrepreneur. You know, your, your, your work will just consume everything and you'll have no life and your health will get affected as well. Uh, and then finally, avoid all time drains. Avoid moaning, avoid bitching, complaining, defending, justifying, going on debates, getting in big arguments on social media, standing up for things or making points or having to win arguments for the sake of it that aren't income generating or don't build your brand. If they're income generating or build your brand, go for it. If not, avoid them at all costs. All right, so let me summarise them all for you. I'm told on the podcast people like the summaries. And remember, um, we are now live on the Start Now, Get Perfect Later audio book. And I've got three bonuses, um, which is the Routine Equals Results book on audio too. It's a two for one book. Um, Also, the first 256 people get my accountability WhatsApp group membership with me personally and my mobile number and a six month online business coaching program. All right. So 10 ways to get more done and have more fun in less time with less wastage. Ah, number one, pick the one task that negates all the rest or is worth 95% uh, and the rest of the 5%. Uh, And that might, by the way, be the one you don't want to do. It might be the big, hairy, scary thing. Number two, avoid all distractions, time drains, by isolating yourself and the task that you're doing without distractions. Uh, And that's technology distractions, that's people distractions, that's your own wandering mind distractions. Three, get hardcore accountability, whether you're in my WhatsApp group as a bonus for Start Now, Get Perfect Later, or you've got a mentor or a coach, or you have public accountability, or you have a competition, or you set a deadline. Number four, if you're going to spend your time, make sure it's an investment. Build an asset while you're spending your time, a training manual for your company, a live feed video that could be a podcast, um, training your staff uh, rather than just hourly tasks that when they're done, you need to spend another hour to do them. Five, do the big, scary, hairy thing first and early to build great momentum and compounding for the rest of the day, week, month and your life. Six, if in doubt, leverage it out. So leverage first, manage the leverage second and only do tasks last. Um, If you pick the one task that negates or supersedes most of the others and the remaining ones, try and leverage most of them out. Out of 10 tasks, I bet you've only got two left that you have to do without even doing anything yourself. Okay, uh, number seven, outsource all low priority tasks, low income generating tasks and admin to outsourcers, assistants, staff, friends, family, etc. Number eight, talk, think about let net time leverage. How can you do an audio podcast and a live feed video which becomes a LinkedIn uh, video at the same time? Maybe batch all your sales calls uh, or all your coaching calls in the car on a two hour journey. Listen to your podcasts uh, and audio books in the gym. Go for a walk and have a meeting with someone while you're walking, like Steve Jobs did. Try and get two or three things done in one unit of time. Uh, Nine, compartmentalise your time, your diary and your life. So all of your big rocks in your life, you batch them first. Then the smaller stones, you batch them next. Then the sort of pebbles, you batch them third. And then everything else sits in between. You know if you're an entrepreneur, your health, your fitness, your hobbies and your passions and your relationships probably got put on the back burner for years. Maybe there was some cost and some carnage in that because you didn't compartmentalize it. And time will, like a black hole, suck everything in unless you block it out and recur it in the diary. So I block out date nights with my wife, golf with my son, dinner every evening with the kids, my Netflix and the things I need to do, like playing pool and the social stuff. Although I'm not very social. I can only really hang hang out with one person before I'm like, Um, the paradox, I can do it to millions of people um, online or hundreds of people at a speaking gig, but put me in a small room with more than one person. Uh, Introvert. Um, Okay, and then 10, avoid all time drains. Debates, moaning, bitching, complaining, debating, justifying, defending, um, unless it's building your personal brand or generating income. So thanks for tuning in. Go right now to get start now, get perfect later on audio. It's the audio book that's launching now, not the physical paperback. That's not ready for, what, September the 13th, I think. Um, And those three bonuses, it's bit.ly forward slash S-N-G-P-L. We did it second time round after dropping my iPhone X and smashing the screen. I'm traveling abroad tomorrow as well for about 10 days. So that's a nightmare. I cocked up the first live. I couldn't press the finish button wouldn't work. I was just live feeding my nostrils for about five minutes trying to end the feed. But we got it done. And actually, I just want to say one thing before I go. Um, I think a lot of people perceive I'm pretty spontaneous and it's easy for me to do live feed videos and all this public stuff. It's not. I often mess up two or three or four takes that you don't see or some of my followers who always get on really early, you see them all the time. Um, Sometimes my brain's just not working, blah, blah, blah. Sometimes I feel like I'm waffling, going off on tangents. I have this sort of, um, I beat myself up. Was it very good? Was it concise? Was it good content? Did people like it? 
And I battle those demons all the time. Um, yeah, so I'm just like everybody else and I've got the same challenges that, that you do. So I would say to you, get yourself out there more, do more live feed video content, be, build, build your personal brand, write more blogs and articles, get on the phone and speak to your clients, speak to your customers, speak to the complainants and get feedback from them. Just hold your breath, use the three second rule, one, two, three, dial the number uh, and just get it done. Um, I found that some of the worst content I've done, in my mind, people have loved the most. And some of the stuff I've done that people I um, maybe perceived wasn't as the other way around, vice versa. So what I didn't like, they loved. Uh, and what I thought would be really useful, maybe, maybe they didn't like so much. Um, so yeah, we're all battling with those demons and those self-worth issues and worrying about being judged. Um, definitely sort of the last few weeks, my brain's just been a bit slower. The neurons haven't quite fired. Um, but yeah, you just got to get it, whatever it is that you want to do and get done, that you're trying to get perfect on, or you're worrying about, or you're fearing judgment, or it's holding you back, or you're feeling overwhelmed on, or you're procrastinating about, you've just got to press record and start the live, you've just got to hold your breath and pick up the phone, you've just got to book the meeting, you've just got to do the thing. Um, and usually what happens is those fears and worries and doubts that you had don't manifest how you perceive them. Um, I'm often given feedback that the tangents that I do, people actually like, uh, whereas I perceive my self-worth is low in those areas. I perceive that people think I'm just waffling and losing the plot a bit. So, hey, you know, let, your, let the world judge you um, by putting your content out there uh, and then tweak it and get better as you go. Um, I write a lot of books, but the first versions are terrible. They need three or four or five edits. Sometimes I do them, sometimes my outsourcers do them. I was having a chat with my publisher a few days ago. I went to meet him and he said, you know, Rob, you, you, your books are good. I've got a bit of feedback. Sometimes they're a bit colloquial. I'm like, what does that mean? It means the jokes aren't good. Um, and so sometimes I am a bit chatty in my book, but they'll edit that for me and I'll tweak that over time and my book writing style will develop and get better or just different, i.e. I think it's better, but people like my old style more. So sometimes you think you're getting better, but you're just getting different. So all of these things are just um, things that we put in the way, obstacles we put in the way. Um, so you've just got to put one foot in front of the other. You've just got to get started. Start now. Get perfect later. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, and remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.